Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a neurofibroma and this particular tumour has been cut into three slices. So let's orientate ourselves. This is the overlying epidermis which is uninvolved and is normal. Just beneath the epidermis is the dermis and this central ill-defined slightly darker area is the area of the lesional tissue. This blue inked edge here is the deep margin of this lesion and it is at the level of the dermis. This is not a well encapsulated lesion with a fibrous capsule but we can just make out the lesional area because it appears a little bit darker on low magnification when you compare it to the overlying dermis. And this is because this lesion has a higher concentration of cells. So the types of cells that we can see are spindle cells. And you can see here, these nuclei are quite elongated and quite slender. Some of them appear somewhat wavy. And some are actually almost comma shaped. So again, you can see a wavy nucleus here. And in general, these nuclei have tapered or pointed ends. So we have spindle cells with wavy, slender nuclei. And in between the nuclei, we can see these pink collagen fibrils. So we have spindle cells and we have collagen. We also have some blood vessels and these vessels are different from those seen in schwannoma. Often in schwannoma, which is the other benign peripheral nerve sheath tumor, the blood vessels have thickened, hyalinized, pinkish walls. These are just regular blood vessels that we see. In neurofibromas, we may sometimes see entrapped normal adnexal structures. For example, here, this is part of an eccrine sweat gland. And if we move around, we can see a couple of others. There's one here and also another one here. In addition, we may also sometimes see small neural structures within neurofibromas and this is not an uncommon occurrence. Lastly, we may also see occasional mast cells quite frequently in neurofibromas. These are recognized as cells with a rather squarish shape with a very bland nucleus and bluish granular cytoplasm. Let me show you a couple of other examples of mast cells and we can see there is another one here and another one here. Let's learn a bit more about neurofibromas. The neurofibroma is a benign peripheral nerve sheath tumor and as I mentioned earlier, the other very common benign peripheral nerve sheath tumor is the schwannoma and there is a separate talking pot as well as a talking slide microscopy video on that lesion. Neurofibromas can either be sporadic or they can occur in the setting of syndromes, the most well-known being neurofibromatosis type 1. And clinically, they can be localized, just like a painless skin lump as we saw microscopically. They can be diffuse and this is usually a deeper, very ill-defined lesion, can sometimes just appear as an area of thickening of the skin. And also plexiform neurofibroma, which is a large multinodular tumor. The diffuse and plexiform neurofibromas are closely associated with neurofibromatosis type 1. There is a danger of malignant transformation, especially in the context of diffuse or plexiform neurofibromas, and they can transform into malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors. Usually, clinically, there will be progressive enlargement of an underlying long-standing nodule or mass, and microscopically, these tumors will be more cellular and show more pleomorphic nuclei with mitotic figures and sometimes necrosis. However, the neurofibroma itself is a benign tumor. Grossly, these tumors tend to have a glistening whitish or sometimes whitish yellow cut section. And here is an example of a plexiform neurofibroma with multiple nodules. And the gross features are covered in more detail by a separate talking pot video. 
So microscopically, neurofibromas are composed of Schwann cells as well as fibroblasts, and these are cells with slender, wavy nuclei. There are these pink collagen fibrils in between the nuclei. Mast cells are frequently seen, as demonstrated earlier. Sometimes also Wagner, Meissner corpuscles as well as Pessinen corpuscles can be seen, and axons may be seen running through, especially highlighted by special stains. Unlike the schwannoma, usually in neurofibromas, we don't see really significant nuclear palisading or verroque bodies. We can see nuclear palisading here in a schwannoma. And again, the blood vessel walls, as you can see in this schwannoma, which are very hyalinized and thickened, this is not generally a feature of neurofibroma. And trapped adnexal structures may be present as demonstrated earlier. And again, there is a separate video for gross as well as microscopic features of schwannoma. These videos can be found in our Pathweb Teacher YouTube channel as well as our virtual online resource, Pathweb. This is free of charge and the registration link is in the video description. So here is just an annotated microscopic picture showing you a neurofibroma with the overlying epidermis, the dermis, and this is the region of the tumor. So we can see some collagen bundles and spindle cells. And here is an entrapped eccrine sweat gland and the spindle cell proliferation. And again, the collagen as well as some small neural structures and just a spindle cell proliferation that does not show any features of malignancy. So in summary, neurofibroma is a benign peripheral nerve sheath tumor that is composed of Schwann cells, fibroblasts, and in between collagen fibrils. Thank you.